I made an game in three days, the same length as the Invincible War. So no more talking and let's jump straight into day one. First things first, I need a character. And since I do not have the time or the skills, let's be real, to model one from scratch, I search for Invincible models. And grabbed this one that was kind of expensive, but it's in the budget. So I just bought it and call it a day. But here's where things got tricky. The rigging was a little bit complex. Since I didn't feel like manually fixing it, I did what any rational person would do. Send it straight to Mixamo for a proper Unreal Engine rig. That made retargeting way easier and saved me a ton of time. Once the character was good to go, I imported it to retarget some basic animations and got things moving. But let's be honest, this is invincible. Walking isn't enough. We need the character to fly. So I threw together a flying system, which took way longer than expected. But in the end, it was fully functional. Well, mostly. But that's it for today. Let's hit the sack. Day 2 was a lot of work. I started with a simple attack system, but it quickly evolved into a full combo system. Surprisingly, I didn't run into many bugs. Most of my time went into setting up the animations. Then I tested it, and immediately noticed that the enemy just stood there like a brake, so I had to add directional hit reactions. It was annoying, but hey, at least now they pretend to feel pain. Then I realized I didn't even have a health system, which is kinda important, so I got to work. And with health comes death, so I added a ragdoll effect. Thankfully my own tutorials came in clutch, and I set it up in 2 minutes. With the combat done, it was time to pretty things up. First I added some particle effects, quick and easy. Then I had to build the main map. Originally, I wanted the city from the city sample. There's only a tiny problem. The asset was 94 gigabytes. Huh? Yeah, not happening. So instead, I just made a really big forest. Same thing, right? Maybe I'll add a city later. Or maybe I'll forget about this project entirely. Who knows? Today was the day that I was dreading. AI day. I started simple, a basic AI system using behavior trees, and surprisingly, it worked. Well, at least on the ground. Then came the real nightmare. Flying AI. And let me tell you, AI move to is not your friend. Getting AI to move properly in the air meant dealing with vector calculations, distance, time, speed formulas, and player movement prediction. It was a lot. But I should probably stop yapping, I don't want to bore you with the programming details. But if you want a tutorial on flying AI, let me know in the comments. Once the AI was kind of functional, it was time for sound design. Invincible is known for its insane levels of gore, but gory BFX were way too expensive. So instead, I just added brutal sound effects. It still feels visceral, just with less actual blood. With only a few hours left, it was time to wrap things up. So I added a health bar widget, a counter for how many imbeciles you have defeated, a main menu, and a win-lose screen. And how do you win? Simple. Defeat 18 imbeciles. Because that's how many there was in the Invincible War. Do you think you can do it? Maybe. Did I ever win? No. Probably I should have balanced the combat better, but hey, it was made in 3 days. It's walky, it's chaotic, but it's fun. That's what matters. And there you have it, an invincible game made in just 3 days. Honestly, I'm surprised there isn't an official invincible game yet. The show has great ratings and they could easily go for a fighting game in Justice style. Or even an RPG like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. The lore is definitely deep enough for it. Never mind, turns out I'm an imbecile. Skybound Entertainment is actually working on a triple A invincible game. Guess we'll see if it ends up better than mine. If you would like a tutorial on any of the mechanics I show in this video, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to try the game yourself, I've linked it down in the description. Just unzip the file and run the .x. That's all from me and I'll see you in the next one.